Richard, first of all, I would like to thank you for this interview. Let's start with you. Who is Richard Jensen? Can you tell about yourself? What made you decide to go to Rojava to join YPG? Well, first of all, you know my name, Richard Jensen. Why I decided to join? You know, um, everything to know with ISIS and what they did. <laughs> just the way that, you know, I'm safe and I just want to help people here. I agree with what ISIS is doing and nobody is really doing much about it. So, and they're everywhere, they're all over Europe and the States. We're there for, to fight for freedom for, for Kurdistan and our, our own freedom because, uh, like, like you know yourself, ISIS is all over the place. Even in America and in, 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 in Europe, they're all over. So, and the best way to fight them is for us is to go here because here we can do something in Europe and America we're not allowed to do. So it's, uh, it's for our freedom. But what I said, for freedom, self determination, and democracy. And stop ISIS to harm these people because they're all over the place. They're in Europe as well, in the States. Okay. Did you know about the Kurds before? Not really. I didn't really got into it that much. I I went. I, I researched about it like two months before. Uh, before the one really the news. It actually just came to Europe like two months ago, three months ago, and that's why I, when I saw it. I gather from your words that it's two months you are there. So what uh, were you expecting and what did you find? How do you see Rojava? What do you think about the people? What I think about the Kurdish people, I think they're very open, very uh, very nice and very, um, what's called, uh, very helpful people, very open and, and very uh, cur- uh, courteous, courteous? Yeah, courteous. They will help you with anything you need, uh, for example. If you have a pro, if you go somewhere, they invite you. They, they, you know, you know, stranger. The you, everybody is family from each other. It's it's awesome. They're really good people. And it's just like like I'm at home. It's actually better. I feel more home here than back in Europe. I'm not talking about myself, Jeff. I'm talking about all the foreigners that come here. They're, they're very welcome here, and yeah, they got treated very well. So I gather you are not regretful to be there. You know, leave you no. you Holland or wherever you were to be there. So you don't have any regret to be there? None at all. No. I am not regretful about it. Richard, did you have any military background? Some of uh, the foreigners, you mentioned about foreigners. But some of them have military background, some not. What about you? Yeah, I have military background. I have I did one and a half year, almost two years in the Dutch Army, regular army. And then I did five years at the French Foreign Legion Special Forces. Then afterwards I spent ten years as a, as a bodyguard. What about your experience in the last two months? Like, are you joining uh, in combat mission? I was, a, I was a driver for my for my commander. <coughs> uh, mostly we did logistics, but as we have a group right now. We're going as uh, we're going tomorrow to Shanghai to the front line. Uh, so yeah, we will join the fight tomorrow or the day after. Did you, Did you say Shanghai? Out, yeah. What is the situation there? There were heavy clashes between YPG and uh, ISIS and Peshmerga, PKK, different groups. They were the fight was very strong. How is the situation now? Strong so, so now, definitely there's heavy fighting. ISIS is doing a lot of they're doing a lot of attacks. Uh, PKK is there as well, of course. Like I said, I'm, I haven't been there yet. I'm going to go there. To, we are going to go there tomorrow or the day. So from that point on, we'll see. I I know more. So. I know you are not in Kobani, but Kobani has been the uh, focus of the world, especially the, <coughs> the news coming from there, a very good news for Kurds. Uh, I spoke to uh, YPG uh, chief commander in Kobani a few days ago, and I spoke to the defense minister of Kobani. So they are all giving very positive news that soon Kobani may be liberated. I want you to comment on uh, the skills of YPG, now YPG men and women, YPG. So w- what do you think about them? I think that skills are good there. Career tactics. I'm not going to say too much about the career tactics, but the tactics that they have, they are very functional. And like you said, the the Kobani is is getting. It's I hear the same news that it's almost liberated, but they still need need to keep up the forces there, so they can't get back. But yeah, Kobani is actually going good. I think going good things about them there. Strong, strong-minded, strong-hearted. They fight for their rights, um, and they they don't quit. 
uh, I I would rather fight with like E fighters than any other force. They are very good. They're very uh, tactics are a bit different, but they know what they do. So yes, I I would. It's an honor to to be next to the side. Uh, they don't really wear the gear, but the thing they need they need scopes and and and, and night scopes and visions. Vest, night vision, I said night visions and weapons. Maybe some better weapons, but um, now they're actually doing good. They're fighting very well against ISIS. ISIS has so many better weapons, and they still beat them. So, yeah, they're doing good. What do you think about the women fighters? YPJ, the female fighters, I think they are awesome. They are very well trained, and they know very well. What they, most of the YPJ, uh, of the women, they are actually snipers, and they they actually... They actually make the most kills from the hash because they're, they're very well disciplined and they're, they're very good. They're, and ISIS is actually afraid of them. <laughs> it's uh, I don't know if you know, what, but if you get killed, if ISIS gets killed, if ISIS person get killed by, by a woman, they, go, they don't go to heaven. So they're very afraid of the woman. Okay, uh, Richard, so. I don't want to take uh, much of your time. The connection is already bad. The last thing, like, what do you think about uh, Holland? What what would you like to see from your own country in regards to support for Kurds? Well, uh, I've done a, I've done an interview on Dutch TV as well. The, the support of Holland is actually good. The only thing that I would like to say is they support us with with uh, with materials, with uh, like Germany Holland, with weapons, with with bulletproof vests, with um, scopes. The one, the only problem is it it goes to Turkey and and that, that nothing comes to us. So they support us, but it it, it never comes to us. It, nothing nothing of that comes to us. Or either it goes to Turkey or to Pesh, but it does not come to YPG. You mean or, you mean Peshmergas? Peshmerga has a lot. Of, they they get supported a lot, but honestly, I don't really think they do a lot of of, of good. They just have to do weapons, but they walk away. If if something happens and gets to on their feet, they just walk away. They leave everything behind. And we as YPG and YPJ, we fight really hard with less weapons, but we still, you know, um, we don't leave things behind. We, we go into it. We don't walk away. So, yeah, the, the support from Holland and Germany and, and everywhere is good, but it just doesn't come to us. We It doesn't reach us. YPG is a good force. They are fighting for for, for their freedom, their democracy. And all, all they do is to, all they want is to get them their country back <laughs> and that's the reason why I joined as well so I hope people will understand that YPG is not terrorist they just want their, their rights back and their homes back that's all they're fighting for we are not terrorists yeah. I think it's terrorist here okay Richard uh, I would like to thank you very much for your time uh, thank you very much